foot 11, a humpback whale washes ashore in Little Compton. The dead whale was discovered near Lloyd's Beach this morning by a fisherman. That's right. It's not the first time a dead whale has washed up in that area, and investigators are trying to figure out how it died. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado joins us live from our mobile newsroom with what he's learned. Well, Susan, that really is the question, as you just said. What caused this humpback to die? Tomorrow, experts will try to find out. It's only one or two years old, small by humpback whale standards, but nonetheless impressive. And as its body is tossed around by the surf on Lloyd Beach in Little Compton, Lise Plimpton keeps watch. It's very sad. It's very sad. She's one of a team of volunteers trained by the Mystic Aquarium to keep people from touching it until a necropsy can be performed on the whale on Friday. Mostly people want to come down and in some very real way pay their respects. It's been really nice to see. The deceased humpback was first spotted by a fisherman in the water at 7 Thursday morning. This whale is about 22 feet long. It got pushed around these rocks and ended up right here by the beach. It's not the first whale in Little Compton in recent years. This 30 foot long humpback was spotted in June of 09. Another washed up in August of that year. I think it's a little crazy because they just keep like washing up on shores. There are no injuries to the young whale's body and scientists hope the necropsy will clue them into what caused this magnificent animal to die. People are touched and dismayed. Well, after that, that necropsy, heavy equipment will be used to take the whale to a nearby field where it will be buried. We'll let you know what happens with that uh, necropsy. We're live at the Mobile Newsroom tonight. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.